Jojo has fun. A spittoon. At least it looks like a spittoon, but it's next to the bed. It might actually be a bedpan. And then we chose investigate. And it said, what? Really? I mean, if it's just a spittoon, that's bad enough, but... It might be a bedpan. That would be way worse. Investigate it. I feel like maybe you weren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object that someone probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk to the outhouse. God, I really wish that spittoon, that uh, bedpans were still a thing. I know. I hate walking to the bathroom. And the best you can hope for is that maybe they only use it to spit nighttime tobacco juice into, in which case it's only full of rancid, congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating it. I Are you even listening to me? <laughs> are you just skimming past the text? Bedpan. Look, I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there. You aren't stopping me. Bedpan! Shut, Shut up, up investigating. I'm investigating. Okay, fine. Have it your way. Your own filthy, disgusting way. Turns out it's probably not a bedpan, but it is definitely a spittoon, and it's definitely filled with rotting brown spit. Fish around. What is wrong with you? Bite me. Oh, good God. Okay, you plunge your hand into the oh, wrist. Oh, gloop. It makes a gloop noise and breaks the thin skin of congealing toxins that were previously keeping the dire smell in relative check. Now, you are choking in a miasma of oily, bitter chaw stink. You know that feeling you get when you're about to puke? How you get that taste in the in the back and the rear corners of your mouth, that metallic tang by the root of your tongue like you're sucking on a corroded old penny? <laughs> They're so good at this. Why? Just tell me what I found already. You find a filthy, slime-covered old brooch. Are you happy? I bet you're going to put it on without even washing it first. Maybe I will. So there. Wow. I think it actually is a good item. Oh, it is. It's great. Yay. Cool. Yay. All right. Awesome. That went good. That went good for us. Now, I need to go... Let's talk to my partner. Let's see. What should we do next? Okay. Tell me what I should do. Okay. Um, any other ideas? Another suggestion. Another suggestion. Another suggestion. Another suggestion. All right. Fuck it. Go to Breadwood. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the... Uh, Three days of me complaining about 16 candles. Yeah. But it did bring up um, buried thoughts and feelings about Only the Lonely. Um, what is that? Only the Lonely. So, so granted, I want you to know, I watched 16 candles and I finished it. Only the Lonely, to the best of my knowledge, is the only movie I have ever stopped watching with halfway through without finishing. Really? Yeah. It was that bad. I've watched... A lot of garbage huh. all the way through because I do not like to not know what happens at the end of a movie. Right. But I couldn't finish Only the Lonely. It was that bad. All the drugs in the world could not get me to finish Only the Lonely. It is a, first of all, I was drawn in, and I don't know why, by the fact that it is a romance movie starring John Candy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I was like, I need to see this. It's, you know, the classic story of a Chicago cop whose racist mom hates his WAP girlfriend. Like. <laughs> are those the actual lines from the movie or are you just having a stroke? No, that's that's the movie. That, that's not from. I mean, that's not from the movie. Those that is the movie. Um, the movie is John Candy lives with his mother, who is like a super racist Irish woman. Granted, this is in 1991. And these these like racial uh, stereotypes are straight out of like 1850, like <laughs> Boston. But it's Chicago in the 90s. OK. And it's this like extremely racist Irish woman that he lives with. That is his mother, who he loves. And then he falls in love with an Italian woman. And it is the most uncomfortable bullshit. The movie is just like, and it's just like, it's an Italian woman and his Irish mother who like, if you don't live in the north end of Boston, you don't even know that there's a difference between those two like ethnicities. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like, but like they, they take it very seriously. Like, but like they're both Catholic. I don't know. Anyway, um, 
it's like so it's oh and then he has a Greek neighbor who's just like just, just fuck her so just racist. keep fucking her like just, that's what you do like he's just a very like they just like they choose every like European denomination and choose like the most like if they it was like they had a conversation with somebody's great grandfather and they were like tell us like the most racist things you can think of it's like Clint Eastwood tried to make a comedy whoa it's so fucking garbage and the whole it's called Only the Lonely, and the only music that they play in the entire movie, as far as I can tell, is Roy Orbison, Only the Lonely. Like, just over and over and over again. What's it about? Just just like this... this it's co- about John Candy trying to date this Italian woman while her, his racist Irish mother gets in the way. That's the whole movie. That's the entire movie. Um, I'm assuming they end up together at the end. Don't I know. don't know. I couldn't finish it. <laughs> it was so painful. Like at one point he takes them out to dinner and like the thing that I don't understand is she's supposed to be this progressive Italian woman in the 90s and she can't stand to be like she can't stand the racism of this Irish woman. And I just feel like like if somebody what like if I went out to dinner with cuz like one of the the main scene in the movie they go out to dinner and she's treated really shitty by this Irish woman and I just feel like if somebody like if I went out to dinner and my mother-in-law treated me really shitty for being of like of Greek heritage I would just be like are you fucking serious it's 2018 like right. what, what are we doing right now but she like instead is like I can't deal with this and like it creates like this major it's like I think that what John Hughes wanted to do was he wanted to make Guess Who's Coming to Dinner with an all-white cast. Oh. Um, so he like... <laughs> that sounds stupid. Yeah. And so like the, the racism is extremely forced because it's, it's problems that people haven't really had with other races or with other ethnicities or... Uh, countries in Europe <laughs> yeah, um, for like 50 years before that. God damn. It's just, and yeah, so I don't have as much of a rant because I never finished the movie. Yeah, I managed to get through 16 But candles. I've never not finished a movie. It was so bad. God. Yeah. That sounds awful. God, it was so bad. I would ask and you I what happens, like, but I know you don't know. No, and John Candy, like, I guess, hold on, let me let me just look up what happens so that we can all know. Okay. Oh, cast and crew. Oh, let's see what the what the critics said. Rolling Stone said. Oh, oh, can't find what you're looking for. Okay, cool. Great. Thanks, Rolling Stone. Washington Post said, only the lonely is a wistful romance. So determined to sweep us off our feet, it fairly grunts with exertion. What? Is that, is, that, is that a negative review? I think so. Okay. It doesn't really say. Of course, is it, it isn't so easy when Gremlins and Goonies guy Chris Columbus is holding the broom. Um, nor does it help when the immovable love object is John Candy and the irresistible force is Ali Sheedy's jawline. <laughs> um... Yeah, they think he's. It's. They said that it's like essentially a remake of Marty, which was like an incredible movie. It's not that at all. It's a mama's boy falls in love with the shy daughter of a mortician, and threatens the sick, weird relationship that he has with his mom. Okay. Uh, who is a bigot and a smothering shrew is what it says in the review. This, um, this all sounds awful. Yeah. This all sounds really bad. Oh, and also, uh, uh, what's his name? Macaulay Culkin's in it. What? Yeah, because she has, for some reason, the mother, who there's no father in the picture, the mother has um, a 37-year-old son and, like, a 5-year-old son. Right. Because that's, like, how Irish women work, I guess. <laughs> like, in the movie, they're just like, well, you're Irish, so you clearly had a breeding period of over 40 years. Um, so <laughs> That's so awful. Yeah, and so... So this was essentially like remember when um, when uh, Jim Carrey tried to make like any movie that wasn't a comedy and people were like what the fuck is this yeah um, that's what happened with this movie people were like 
Um, oh, it was. It, so it's not a comedy. No, it's a romance. Oh. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. I was under the impression once you said John Candy, I was like, well, this is clearly a comedy. Right? No, no, it's uh, it's supposed to be a. I mean, it's supposed to be a romantic comedy, but um, it's Doesn't like sound like it. Awkward and not good. Yeah, it's like super dramatic. Um. That all sounds awful. I mean that that sounds really terrible. Every part of that sounds bad. Yeah, and they people who try or try to say good things about it, um, they're they say that it's a he's got a deep sadness and a long suffering sweetness. Like that's the best thing they can say. What does that even mean? I don't know. They're like, well, he just like it's fucking pathetic, I guess. That's awful. Yeah, and so it's a romantic drama. It sounds so bad. Yeah, it's not even a romantic comedy. It's a romantic drama. That's awful. Yeah. That, I don't want to see that. No one wants to see that. No one wants to see John Candy. That's why he died soon after. He did? I think so, yeah. Oh, man. Right, hold on. So this came out in 91. He died in 94. Okay, so it took him three years. He suffered a long, a long... A long time after this film. Yeah, only the lonely. Oh, just so we're clear, guys, I'm not strong enough to do anything right now, and I don't know where to find good food, so I'm... Uh, Dude, just we went to Rick's s- Dessert Diner a while ago. That was delicious. Oh, man. We should have gone there today. But so I'm just I'm doing some uh, some careful grindage in this game. Yeah. Oh, great. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys. But so so only the lonely. Yeah. Cam, is should I go see it? Uh, no, I'm gonna say uh, negative four stars. Okay. You know what I think we can agree on though? A movie that everyone should see. What? RoboCop. Yeah, RoboCop. I feel like that was the easiest decision that we made today it was like everyone should see robocop it's a great it's a it's a fucking the guys on red letter media um mike and jay they said robocop is a perfect movie and i'm like okay i don't remember it very well and i watched it and i'm like okay oh wait hold I on i love this film this is what happens at the end of the movie in of only the lonely only the lonely okay uh, okay so um so he eventually chooses his mother over the Irish woman. Or not the Irish woman, the uh, so he, Sicilian. So he doesn't go with his lady. Well, no, that's what happened. The, the plot twist in the movie is that he can't leave his mother. She's moving to Florida, which is what everybody does when they're old. Um, and so she's moving to Florida. It's and like he a can't, joke. He can't be without her. So he's going to move to Florida with his mother and leave Teresa, the the Italian woman behind, and then um, and then what happens? Da, 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 da. Oh, and then so so Danny, the uh, John Candy, is gonna leave with his mother to Florida, and then at the last minute, the Greek guy next door, who has like apparently in the background been warming up to uh, fucking. John Candy's mom yeah. takes John Candy's ticket um, to go down to Florida, and so they, the the gr- old Greek man and the Irish woman, go down to Florida together. Oh, and so John Candy. Um, so can John be Candy with... can be with Teresa, and his mom gets to be with a Greek guy, and I guess like that's supposed to be like the, the that's like, the good ending. That's the good ending because like obviously that her, her racism that, that has, love been, is possible. has been quelched by Dick. Um, because like if you hate, I mean like if you like blindly hate Italian people for no reason, Greek people tend to get like kind of stuffed in that same box. Um, I'm having trouble believing that this is real. <laughs> <laughs> what? That this movie you're that, describing to me. Exists yeah, that's like a real movie. It sounds like something I would make up, right? <laughs> yeah. This sounds I'm like, like the dumbest. I'm like, yeah, so John Candy and a bunch of weird, like, it's just like, I don't, I really think that it's, because like, do you remember the movie Gran Torino? Yes. And it was like. That is a good film. Okay. You need to go back and no, watch no, that film. No, no, that's a good movie. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not. I like that movie. It, that's good for you, but I need you to go back and watch that movie yeah. and look at the racist slurs that Clint Eastwood uses. Oh, he uses a lot. He yeah. made some of those that shit up. I swear to God. Yeah. He was just like it's like he's showing off all the different races. Look how slurs. much I hate. Oh yeah, look at you know how much I hate. I had to like I looked in a book of old racist slurs 
Like, the, like, the stuff, like, I feel like Zipperhead is a, is a... Incredibly racist term. Very, like, that's a deep cut, right? Yeah. That's, like, the most mainstream slur he uses in that movie. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. I think it's uh, all Asian people. Yeah. Yeah, Zipperhead. Yeah, I'm not going to Google it. Because even safe search, the government can find that. I don't so want, bad. and I, I've I've said a few times now, I plan on running for office someday. Yeah, sure you do. And fucking. I'm sure 800 episodes of our show will help that. Yeah, and Zipperhead <laughs> coming up on my safe search. You keep saying it, by the way. Like, <laughs> you keep saying that word. But like, yeah, I guess I could take it out of context. That's yep. not great. Um, yeah, it's not going to be good for me. Nobody's going to watch this, Joe. It's fine. This is where I'm safe. I can say all of the horrible things on this show. Because <laughs> they're not going to go to this show. They're going to go straight to my <coughs> safe search. They're going to be like, There's 800 That's... episodes of JoJo's fun. I'm not going to watch these. No, they're not going to watch these. They're, they're going to go to my safe search and try to figure out what the hell I've been doing. You know, why don't we end this episode today? <laughs> Not because I want to stop talking about movies and stuff, but because like um, it's you know. time. Oh yeah, it's time. It's like we're sixteen minutes in. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Um, I'm still gonna be leveling up pretty much, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. So Bye. yeah, I think a good um, a good trivia question would be name two movies that JoJo and Kim hate. <laughs>